Hello there, it's Karen Hollenbeck from Think Bespoke, your five-minute LinkedIn marketer. Now today I'd like to talk to you about the about section of your LinkedIn profile, also known by some as the summary. And interestingly, we now have around 2,600 characters, not words to play with in this section. Now, I'd have to say this is probably the hardest part of your profile to write about. And I think Bespoke, we've effectively built a business on the fact that it's hard to write about yourself. But I'm not here for self-promotion. I'm here to encourage you to maximise the about section of your LinkedIn profile. Now, the most important thing to consider is strategically, what are you trying to do with your LinkedIn profile? So what do you want to be known for and who are you trying to influence? And I've asked you that a lot through both episode, through season one, two and three of this podcast series. And once you know the answer to that question, you effectively need to write this section of your LinkedIn profile with that in mind, because you'll find once people are already connected with you, They won't be looking at this section of your profile. It's people who uh, have found you for whatever reason via search. You've been, your name has been recommended to them via good colleagues of yours or happy clients of yours. And so they're coming to your LinkedIn profile to look at what evidence is available to reduce risk in their buying journey to consider if you as a leader of the organization or you as a consultant or coach or freelancer, whoever you may be, are the right person for them. So here are some do's and don'ts to make sure that you're maximizing the about section of your LinkedIn profile. Do use as many of the characters available to you for this section. Do link the call to action that you've got in your video cover story, in your headline and in your featured section. So what do I mean by that? Have a look at my LinkedIn profile as an example. And what I effectively say to people is, if you look, if you'd like to know more about and I reference the key pieces of information that I know people can look at as a follow on to having a look at my LinkedIn profile and deciding if I am for them. Do write in the first person. So that means you writing about you. So let's imagine LinkedIn is a virtual, is a room, a virtual room, and we're networking. If I walked up to you and said, oh, hi, tell me a little bit about yourself, you're not going to describe yourself like this. Well, Karen Hollenbach is a leading LinkedIn trainer. It's going to be you talking about you. It makes you more personable and more approachable. Do write like you speak. Give people a sense of your personality. Inject yourself. Do consider the role of injecting story. So give people a sense of what you believe, what you care about and who you help. Here are some don'ts. Don't write in the third person. So you need to write. So I've explained that in the do's. Don't cut and paste your professional summary from your resume or your, um, some bios and websites are all right, but do put the time into injecting, personalizing and injecting your personality. Do not make it all about you. So make sure that you're really thinking about who you're trying to influence and how, make sort of the, the call out to them really clear in the way you're sharing your story. So don't make it all about you and don't have every paragraph starting with I. So I hope you found that helpful. There's a summary of some do's and don'ts in regard to maximizing the about section of your LinkedIn profile. And a reminder that you should also listen to episode nine and eight to help connect the dots of this episode and those two episodes. Thanks for listening. If we're not already connected on LinkedIn, please do pop over there and invite me to connect. And if you'd like exclusive offers on our LinkedIn training and these LinkedIn marketing tips delivered to your inbox each month, please also sign up to my e-insights. Until next time.